Hi, I'm Lance Schrader, Customer Technology Specialist out of our Marysville location. And I'm glad that you can join me as I go over many planner settings. If you have any questions after these videos, please contact your local landmark location. In this video, we're going to talk about 1790 and 1795 settings. The first one I want to go over, if you have a 32 row, is changing the hitch position when you go to 15 inch rows. We want to loosen that nut, back this pin out, and switch over here. What that offset does is it gets our planter back centered since we have an extra row on the left side. If we have like a 23 row or a 31 row, we don't have to do that. On split row planters, there are a few things that we need to remove when going from 30 inch rows to 15 inch rows. We need to remove the cap that was here for our seed delivery. We also need to remove the plug for our vacuum that was here. So it looks like this for 15 inch rows. But going back to 30 inch rows, we want to reinsert those components. Another tip or trick that we might use when planting in 15 inch rows and using the rear rank is setting this depth on the rear rank a little bit deeper than the front rank due to the fact that we don't have as much weight here in the rear rank as we do on the front rank. That way, both ranks will be planting at the correct depth. Another thing that I like to have operators do when changing from 30 inch rows to 15 inch rows is changing our work point measurement or offset. So in 30 inch rows, we're measuring to our seed delivery point right about here. And when enabling the 15 inch rows, as these rows are paired together, I like to split the difference between our seed delivery points. So on the 30 inch, it was here. On the rear rank, so you can see delivery points here. So I like to measure probably about half the distance. So that's probably about somewhere right in here to optimize our section control when turning on and turning off. When locking up this rear rank for storage position, we want to use our long blocks spacers. When we're planting on 30 inch rows we want to use our short ones and put them in here and make sure our pin is latched because we have to unfold the rear rank first before we can unfold the planter. On the rear set of rows on the rear rank when going from 30 inch to 15 inch rows we need to lower these manually. So right now this is in the position for the 30 inch rows where I have this spring tensioner underneath this bar. To switch it to 15 inch rows, I have to switch this here, put it in the slot, and then come back here, have my bar lift up and let, let it down. One thing that you periodically want to do especially if you have a lot of ditches, is make sure that after you go through that ditch that for some reason this planter row unit doesn't actually lock back up in its position. The spring is supposed to hold it, but I have seen before where it does lock the rear row units up. Once I have my bar, I'll take and hook it on the parallel arm up top there, as well as underneath, and I can use it as leverage to raise it or lower it as needed. The bar that we use to lower or raise the rear set of row units on a split row planter is found here on the right side of our planter. We can lift it up and pull it out of its storage position. After raising or lowering the row units according to what you need for your configuration to put away the row unit leverage bar and make sure that it's latched we want to slide it in here in between this bracket and the front of our tube. Turn it over and latch it in there just like that. So this holds that bar from sliding out and that way we don't lose it. 
I want to go over some screen setup for split row planners. Shown here is a planner with Seedstar 4 on the Gen 4 screen. In order to switch from 30 inch rows to 15 inch rows, there are a few things that we have to do. First, I want to come and find a planner page with the tools button on it. And then I want to go to the seed and alarm setup. Up top, I'll have seed selected. The seed disk, holes per disk, and the number of rows enabled, all I have to do is switch it to 32 in this case. And then I want to switch my crop type in the top right. So I'm going to hit the work setup, and then I'm going to touch what is corn, and I'm going to change that crop to soybeans. And then I'll hit OK to confirm that. Now you'll notice here in the seed disk, it automatically changed what seed disk I have. Another thing that I need to do when switching to 15 inch rows is supply air to the rear rank on our split row planner. To do that, I need to come and touch my gauge wheels. And then I need to go ahead and touch my downforce margin. And then I need to turn my active pneumatic downforce off. So now it's in set point mode. Now on rank two, I can go ahead and increase the downforce. And when the planter is down and the compressor is running, it will supply air to the rear rank. Once I'm satisfied with that, I can turn my active pneumatic downforce back on. Another thing that might be helpful to see is where the downforce sensors are located on this split row planner. To do that, I'm going to go to the setup, and I'm going to go ahead and touch my planner, and I'll touch my planner again. And then if I scroll down a couple times, it'll show which rows have the gauge wheel and ride quality sensors, as well as the vacuum sensors. To switch back to 30 inch rows, if you were going back to corn, you would just hit the tools, hit the seed and alarm setup, change the number of rows enabled to 16, and then go over here to our work setup and change our crop type back to corn. And it will see that we have the Pro Max 40s.